Hey Lakeshore, welcome back to Life Lifters, a short blast of encouragement to hopefully bring a lift to your day. My name is Frank DeLuce. I'm one of the pastors here. And this week we've been taking a look at Psalm 139. And today we are going to wrap up by taking a look at verses 13 through 18. Again, Psalm 139 was written by King David of Israel. And in verse 13, uh, David writes this. He says, Speaking of God, for you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. You see, the God of the universe, the one who knows you so well, so intimately, he is the one that created you. He created you bit by bit, cell by cell, from the moment of conception right through to birth, he knit us together in our mother's womb. Think about that. When you knit something, it is not a fast process. It requires concentration. It requires uh, moves that are, that are specific Moves that are calculated to have a certain outcome. God knit you together very patiently in your mother's womb. He knows you that intimately, stitch by stitch. And so when you consider how you're made, when you think about the complexity of your body, the way it works, um, knowing that, that God intimately spent time with us, putting us together, how could you not? but worship him. It is just such an incredible thought to me. And when I think about the sanctity of life, this passage for me speaks so much about how important life is and that God will see in a moment how he has purpose and a calling on our lives. Continuing in verse 15, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. See, God knew you before you were born. While you were being made, he was right there in the womb with you. You were known by God before a single day of your life came to be. See, life doesn't begin at birth. Life begins at conception. You were known by God every single moment of your life throughout your life. They were written in his book. He is writing the story of your life. Continuing in verse 17, how precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. When you think about the way that God loves you, when you think about the depth of his love and the magnitude of his love, it is truly awesome. It's like counting grains of sand. It's impossible. If, if you've ever gone to the beach and you tried to count grains of sand, it is impossible. That's how many thoughts God has about you. The way God thinks about you is unmatched, unmatched by anybody else. It is precious, it is priceless, and it is infinite. Infinite are the thoughts of God towards you. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you that you have known us. You knew all the days that were to be ordained for us before one of them came to be. You knit us together, stitch by stitch, in our mother's womb. And you continued to desire to know us and be with us and go before us and be a part of our lives. We thank you for that, Father. Thank you for the thoughts of love that you have towards us. And thank you, Father, that you, the God of the universe, would care enough to work in our lives. Father, that is an encouraging thought. It is a sobering thought. And Father, 
We love you for that. We worship you and we give you thanks. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Hey everyone, thanks for spending a week of Life Lifters with me. I hope you'll look forward to another week of Life Lifters coming up next week. And until then, don't just have a great day, but go and make a great day.